Pennsylvania House Speaker Mark Rossi assembled a group of bipartisan lawmakers to try and find ways to break the gridlock that has left Harrisburg at a standstill. The work group's final listening tour stop was last night, but as WENY Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon reports, Rossi faces an uphill battle in bringing both parties together. Thursday evening, the Speaker's work group held its final listening tour in Wilkesbury. Now it's back to Harrisburg for Speaker Mark Rossi as he works with his bipartisan group to propose a fair set of operating rules for the lower chamber. It's going to be something that the people, the 13 million residents of this Commonwealth, can be proud of. However, Rossi's rocky relationship with Republicans may be exacerbated upon his return as tensions remain high. House Republican leader Brian Cutler says Rossi promised to change his affiliation to independent, which he has yet to do. Before embarking on the work group tour prompted by gridlock, Rossi gaveled the House out of session and locked the chamber doors until there was agreement on rules and a two-year civil window for victims of childhood sexual abuse, Rossi's top priority. Republicans argue keeping the House doors locked is an improper use of Rossi's authority as Speaker. However, these doors behind me are not the only locked doors creating a stir here at the Capitol. Yesterday, Cutler sent letters to Rossi, the chief clerk, and Governor Shapiro expressing frustration over new locks to an office housed by Republican staff. In the letter, Cutler says the office contains sensitive information and that Rossi's coordination to change the locks is completely unacceptable and is a significant breach of internal security. Adding, it is nearly breathtaking that in such a short amount of time, so many clear promises have been broken and the trust I placed in you with my vote has been violated. The lock dilemma may seem insignificant, but it's the latest indication that compromise in a deadlocked Harrisburg is not on the horizon. In Harrisburg, Brendan Scanlon reporting.